Hey, 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 hey. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Bell Me Chair is here. <laughs> you guys, I am so exhausted. I don't know. I, I'm tired. It's just, that's just an understatement. But in any case, due to my love for you guys, I have been hunting down these TJ Maxx and Marshall stores all weekend and last week to find new goodies to spot you know some goodies to share with you guys as we normally do here every week yo you guys it's been a struggle i know i'm not the only one complaining it's something out there at the stores they're not giving they're not giving much however due to my con my um my uh not consistency but due to my perseverance i spotted a few goodies that i didn't see last week or been the week before to show with you guys although this video may not be lengthy do stay tuned till the end so you guys could see what was grabbed and i can't wait to hear your thoughts on this week's video once again, this is not lengthy. It's been a struggle. The stores are dry, but we did spot some goodies. So stay tuned and enjoy watching. Here we are at Marshalls, you guys. I spotted this buffing foundation brush here from Revlon. This is stunning. Something about this brush. I don't know if it's the shape or anything. It's here for $5.99. It is a foundation brush. It's a little dense on the top of, I like the bristles are much more condensed. I really wanna grab this one. It's really cute. Do have some lashes here from Kiss. These are different types. Uh, the last two are mainly my type of lashes. Uh, the top two are somewhat looking thick, especially the first one, but you have a variation of styles here you can pick from. And this one is here for $7.99. We're spotting these new brushes here from Eco Tools. Um, this is a vegan brand, I believe. These are eye brushes. They're really good. $6.99 this one's going for. And we have, what, six brushes on here? That's a steal. We have these sponges from Wet n Wild. This is... A pride collection and this one is going for $4.99 spotting some Mac um, fix plus concealers here and W24 I believe this is right up my alley $12.99 this going for and um, let's see what the shade truly looks like yeah no it's too light much lighter than I anticipated but it's really pretty pretty mm -hmm. shade Spotting this matte bronzer here from NARS. This is in the shade uh, Velarta and it's here for $16.99. And some highlighting powder from NARS, also Albastros and Ibiza are here. Also, well, this one actually $14.99. Here at Marshalls, I'm spotting this uh, cut crease canvas from revolution we spotted a different one last time but this time these are individuals or singles for $3.99 and they are in the shade fair see my beauty has these um, let it shine body shimmers here different shades going for $5.99 and this is what we spotted last trip a uh, universal and the shade Universal. This is also a um, eyeshadow base from Revolution for $2.99. This is a blush set from Revolution X Roxy Collection, Sakura, and Orange Blossom. These are liquid blushes. Someone have already messed with this, these on here. Not sure if they're any good. However, they're here for only $3.99. Another product of Revolution here. This is a face highlight duo, Honey Glaze for 
they they normally have great highlights not sure about this one though but let's find out this is stunning very pretty packaging does not feel cheap of although it's feels like a cardboard type of um material but it feels really sturdy from x revolution we have this pore fix setting spray um for 4.99 it feels so luxe this packaging uh yeah this is more like the top notch of revolution umbrella and here we have this glass skin primer um for dewy finish also from revolution for 3.99 we're spotting these um single well concealers here in the pot from revolution again these are different shade we have light sand and light beige for 3.99 we did see a pink one last time but these are more of a neutral tone this incento collection from this brand alamar has this product here this is what sun soaked high shine highlighter for 3.99 there's a few here i see what it looks like from this brand pyt beauty we have this bronzer duo for 5.99 it looks really pretty i think the shade is bali really stunning from the Revolution X Sophie, this is another one, but this is a lighter uh, shade, cookie and cream. Someone swatched this and broke that shimmery one right here. However, these highlighters are really stunning. Estee Lauder has these um, Hydro Rescue, Rescue Moisturizing Makeup with SPF 45 on here and the shade 3C2 and 3N2 for $19.99. From MAC, we have this frost lipstick here in the shade Bronze Summer 304 going for $8.99. Here from Pure, we have this Get a Lift facial cream here going for $12.99. Here we are at Marshall's. We're spotting this Neutrogena Skin Perfecting Glycolic Citric Acid Blend, 7%. This is a chemical... From Pacifica, we have this Mattifying and Protect Priming Lotion with Vitamin C. 35 oh yeah we have this we've grabbed this before 35 um fbs s ty beauty brand this is a face primer going for $5.99 and similar to since it's on here vitamin C and minerals and stuff with SPF and this is in a, a setting spray for $9.99 this um Flash Rolling Liner from the uh, Chump Up Chumps collection with Rude Cosmetics. Some bright neon shade range on here for $7.99. Here from Honest Beauty, we have these gloss, C lip gloss. I believe these have vitamin C in them. There's two shades here, Moonstone and Pink Agave. And they're here for $3.99. We are picking up on these Beauty Blender Bounce Airbrush Liquid Whip Concealers. This is in the shade Light Ivory. There's a few shades here. We have Shell Light and Peach Light or Light Peach. Yeah, that's basically what we have here. And they're going for $6.99. Oh, here at TJ Maxx, we're picking back um, the Fenty Beauty uh, Kilowatt Foil highlights 
these are restocks we've had them in the past and they are here for $7.99 this one is mimosa sunrise and um sangria sunset we are picking up a different shade here casino from the nars bronzer for $16.99 from colourpop we have this fresh fresh kiss lip cream in the shade you are mine going for $4.99 a light pink here we have this long wear um, nourishing waterproof foundation NC17 from MAC this one is on sale for $12 we are having our coca-cola revolution palettes coming back around and this one here is for $4.99 and also from ColourPop, we have this, is it Sippy Sippy Lux Gloss for $4.99 as well. And this is what it looks like, really pretty. We are spotting some new brush collection from VH Cosmetics, Cool Side Chick. This one is here, mix of um, eyes and face brushes for $14.99. And then this cute ice set here, chilling in Chicago, going for $7.99. And I believe we've seen these before. Weekend Vibe, mix of face and eyes as well. And the Escapade is coming back around. All right, guys, just be before I was losing hope, I found this emphasize cream taupe cult bone base or whatever this is what a contour palette from mac going for $24.99 it's already open let's take a look at what it is and it's in the shade light to medium and this is she looks like some of the shades are swatched but minor details so pretty here we are with some new shade range of the stay naked correcting concealer from bh not be eight from H Herb and Decay. We have 50 and Y, 60 and N, 50 and N, and 50 and P. And they are here for $7.99. Spotting this diva ish um, lashes from INV. These are super lengthy. And, um, it says lightweight and they're here for $3.99. Okay, thank you for staying tuned. So we are now to the end of at the end of the video. I have grabbed some goodies and I did grab me some goodies from Walmart, which I will include everything here to share with you guys what we got coming to you know use for the days to come. First of all, we spotted some more shades of the naked stay naked correcting concealer up to 24 hours wear from bh why well, i keep saying bh from herbin decay you guys we spotted this way back um i ne neglected grabbing some few shades however this time around i spotted these 50 and 60 neutral neutral yellow neutral pink all of them these ranges that was available i got and i cannot wait to use them i don't recall which one i grabbed last time but you could never have too much concealer these are them really creamy can't wait to revisit this once again now i'm gonna mix everything walmart and tj maxx i also grabbed me these infallible um concealers from l'oreal these are in the shade uh ooh, where are the shades there oh we got 395 walnut and honey 415. i am looking to do like a l'oreal infallible all together product type of thing video for you guys so these concealers, I've been eyeing them. I now have them to try. I don't think they're new. I don't believe they're new. Um, but I can't wait to try them and see what they are about. And we have these L'Oreal Infallible. What is infallible stuff? 
lipstick. There were several shade range, but we got 105 Breakfast in Bed, which it's a liquid lipstick. Looks like this. Oh, it feels so creamy. Um, not sure if these are matte. I think they are matte. They're matte, I believe. And um, yeah, can't wait to include that. I thought this would have been more like beigey, but it's more pink on me. And one of the juicy part are these blushes, you guys. Since they've been out, I have been eyeing them to grab they didn't have them at my store so finally we were able to spot them i got two shades here fearless coral and Le legendary berry and the other ones were either closer to this and then there's one that's like it looks like a bronzer like a light a light skin tone bronzer type of blush and this is the uh, Fearless Coral and the Berry one. I cannot wait to use these with the bronzers that came out last time. They're so, they feel so thick and pigmented. Y'all see? Yeah, you, you, and you guys see perhaps the, the lipstick will core correlate with the blushes and all that stuff so our next goodie is from revolution these blushes palette or not blushes highlight palette face highlight duo honey glaze is this one there were some um different shades on there there were there was cookie and cream and then some other one which i thought was the same as cookie and cream but wasn't but this is what these look like when I swatch this, I'm not surprised because I have not had a bad experience with Revolution um, Highlight. So I was expecting this to deliver. Like how many highlight shades like this we're going to have, right? But this one is so pretty. I mixed the two together. Like I'm expecting to do on my face. You see how melting this, like you don't, you see shine, you don't see chunks, you don't see anything sticking out. This is so buttery, this highlight. I cannot wait to see what it looks like and feels like on the face. So excited for that one. That was a nice one. I, I think going back this week, if I, I'm going to spot the lighter shades, if I still do, Definitely will grab the lighter shades because you could never have too much highlighter. Okay. Our next Revolution product, which we have spotted, are, um, are these Super Base uh, Eye Primer, Eyeshadow Primer. I grabbed this one and this one also, which I already opened up. This is the Cut Crease Canvas one. This one has... The applicator is more of a shorter, condensed, thick brush where you could just, it's more controlled. It's not like, yeah, you can cut some crease with that, definitely. And what I noticed with these comparing to the concealer, I thought when I first thought this, saw this, I thought this was like, like a regular concealer. But no, the way these dry down, it's very different than how my concealer over the lid would dry down. So I'm definitely excited that I grabbed these for a, you know, an eyeshadow base because I expect great things with these. Okay. So my last, or no, not last. Why am I kidding? I got this. The Encanto Alamar Highlighter. This one is, um, the price is, the tag is, um, I think they have only one highlighter, right? I think so. Whatever the highlighter name is. Um, if I, 
once I if I spot it, I will put it on top for you guys to see. But we got her, and she is stunning. It's like a rose gold type of. I don't have any more fingers. Let's use the other hand because I don't have. I have not spotted. And this is what it looks like. Stunning. Oh, and it does shift. It does shift. Looking at it like this, it gives me like a gold. But showing it to you guys, it's less than a gold, more pinkish. It does shift. I don't know if you guys could see it. Excited. And it was super cheap. $3.99. You guys. You can't beat that. Although the stores were dry, but the stuff there were like really affordable. Now... I grabbed this one. Emphasize cream accentuate taupe sculpt bone beige studio fix sculpt and shape contour palette from MAC. This is probably like a four year old product. But four years ago we had skin and still till this day we have skin so we could still use these products especially if they were good now i didn't take this palette for my contour type of thing it says something cream here but i don't see they all look powder to me i thought it was gonna be like a creamy concealer type of uh palette but they're powder and when I, the reason that I took these, these highlight shades, I definitely see me using on me, mixing with some of these shades down there, which could possibly be like a bronzer for some skin tone. But to me, mixing them, you know, just getting creative with the products. What if I didn't have any other you know, setting powder or highlight powders and stuff. Why not mix them? Just the same way I would have mixed those creamy products. And they feel so good. These MAC, yeah, they're powder. They feel so good on the, on my finger right now. Perhaps these contour shades may be too grayish on my skin because they're meant to you know create shadows and stuff but these highlights the powder I, I wanted to have it this would pair really nicely with my other mac products so that's why i grabbed it and i'm going to use it and I'm going to enjoy it. All right. So that was the last piece of the pie for you guys today as a mixture of TJ Maxx haul slash Walmart slash TJ Maxx and Marshall's trip. So I truly hope you next week picks up or at least this week because I'm really dropping this to you guys really late it's what tuesday i should have given this to you guys today and done either friday or saturday but um yeah hopefully you guys you are able to see some juiciness on your side of town at your stores and hopefully the stores around here could pick up and you know we could get keep the party going over here and um, share with you guys what spotted. I will keep checking. If I don't see anything this week, don't expect another video next week because I'm getting busy with school and stuff, busier than ever. So I really won't have the time to hunt like I did this time around. I love y'all, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And let me go hit the books and um hit the bed and i'll see you guys on another one do enjoy my other videos here coming up subscribe 
right here in the middle of the screen you guys may see it just click it and enjoy this channel i'll see you next time